This tutorial is a supplementary session designed as an extension to the free 10 minutes of coding lessons available from the Texas Instruments website. In this session, we see how to use the lists inside a program. Sometimes we know in advance how big the list will be. Other times, it can depend on what the program is doing. In this particular example, we're searching for prime numbers between two values. So, as we don't know how many prime numbers we might find, we don't know how big the list will be. So, in cases like this, we start with an empty list. Now, I will request the lower and upper values in my search for prime numbers. I can use a for loop. My loop variable is i, starting with l, my lower value, and finishing with u, my upper value. Now I need to check if the number is prime. The is prime command returns true if the number is prime and false if it isn't. So it's a perfect condition statement. Now, if the number is prime, I want to store it in my list of primes. For this, I will use the augment command. Augment allows me to combine two lists. So, my prime list will be augmented with the current list of primes and my latest find, which must be written as a list. The first time the loop finds a prime number, it will combine my empty list of primes with the first find, and thereafter the list will just get bigger and bigger. When my loop is finished, I might want to identify how many primes were found. To do this, I will simply display the dimensions of my prime list. The dim command returns that dimension. I might also want to display all the prime numbers. Now it's time to run the program. Let's search for prime numbers between 1 and 100. Hmm. Now let's compare the result between 100 and 200. So, there are less primes between 100 and 200 than there were between 1 and 100. I wonder if there'd be even less between 200 and 300. You could use this simple program to conduct your own exploration. If you'd like to see how to create a list of known size in a program and access the values within that list, check out the link in the description below or just keep watching for the next video.